Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the show. We're in the unit, LLF Games Business. As you can see, we've got an Alpine White M140i sitting there all blurred out on a 1.4G Master. You know what I'm trying to say? We, we ain't messing about today. We, we need the bokeh look. Today I thought we we're gonna go yellow as well. Usually it's all red and orange. I thought, let's go, you know what I mean? We want electricity today, yeah? And a nice little yellow. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little bit tired as well. It was my son's birthday, he turned one years old. Obviously those that follow the main channel, you know, little man came a few months early. Finally turned one, time flies. And when you reach like mid thirties, like you step away from the Henny and Boost, you start hitting Budweiser's. I don't, is it just me or? Man say like four or five, but we're done. Headaches and we've got to take paracetamols and shit. But anyway, anyway, let us grab the cam because the scenes are looking lit. And here we go. M140i, let me tell you, the baddest of the baddest M140s online. Yeah, we searched four to 500 M140s to find this bad boy right here. And as I say, this Sunday, 10.30, someone will be winning this car for 99p, of course, as always, every single Sunday, 10.30, live draw. Get your tickets ASAP. Anyway, Alpine White M140. It's not Shadow Edition, but it does look like a Shadow Edition. You can see we've got this black and white theme going. We've got the front gloss black splitter, double slatted kidney grills. These are usually found on M cars. 23,000 miles on the clock, full service history. I just love the way this car sits. It's been lowered, spaced as well. And you've got these aftermarket 18 inch gloss black Romac alloys. We've also got the gloss black mirrors, M3 star. And you can see all gloss black, gloss black seals. It'd be nice to have like a carbon roof, wouldn't it? We've got the gloss black. Diffuser, it's got a decat downpipe, stays two tuned, probably like an off the shelf map, don't know which company actually mapped it, but roughly 450 horsepower, the car's an absolute weapon. You will know with these cars, they've got the 8-speed ZF box, there is a manual option, but when it comes to performance, if you want a quick car, nice daily, the ZF box is definitely the option, 8-speed. Obviously three litre single turbo charge, you know that these are super reliable engines, some of them 7, 800 horsepower when you change the turbos. But yeah guys, this car is really, really nice, comes with a private registration, yeah 23,000 the Mars and full service history is absolutely mint condition, not a scratch, nothing clean as F. We just had the winner of the RS3 come collect that this morning. We've got the M3, the winner's gonna come collect that tomorrow morning for anybody wondering why the cars are still here. But yeah, we're gonna go for a POV drive. You lot seem to enjoy them. Be interested to see what this one's like compared to my M140. I've driven this one a few times now, but obviously my one was like a custom tune done by Mike Ball, obviously via Tom Wrigley performance. This one I suspect will have like an off the shelf map. Does sound really nice, this car. So guys, I know there's not been much content on the channel. I have just moved yard, well, like over the last month. I've just finally set up the sim rig and I'm going to be smashing out these reaction videos again. I'm also going to be doing this gaming thing as well. But yeah, I've been absolutely flat out the last month or two, which is why there hasn't been as much content. But let me tell you, man's back on. We are going to be returning to LLF at some point as well, just to let you know. We've got the G-Char coming back in a sec as well. I did mention in the last video that I'm thinking, do I buy a Porsche GT3? As I say, still up in the air on what to do. But yeah, I'll probably get the G-Char back, make some content. That's about it, people. This car actually sounds really nice, man. A little bit louder than my car. So yeah, as I say guys, 450 horsepower. This one is just sitting on lowering springs. Interesting because as I said to you before, where we are sitting lower compared to my M140, because look, we've got the Bilstein B6 dampers, so we would, technically think it probably had a more capable suspension but lower springs are still pretty cool you're obviously gonna you're gonna hit potholes more it's not gonna ride as nice round town but you do feel more planted i feel lower to the ground of course it's a lower lower center of gravity and you do notice it man yeah it does really bang away open diff as well so we haven't got the lsd but yeah i think any form of m140 with a tune is an absolute rocket shit, man. Do you know what I mean? Like you can, you can almost bottom out because we're so much lower. Definitely gonna have had gearbox software. <laughs> Flipping out, man. <laughs> Do you know what? M140s are just sick, man. 100%. They are really, really exciting cars to drive, man. They just make you laugh. Let's get a window down, just flatten the throttle. <laughs> I reckon, um, yeah, my car's definitely got a slight edge performance wise, and I can feel that my car turns in a little bit better as well. I 
felt the rotation around that bend. It just sort of slivered to the side. Just a reminder, uh, I know I said it in the intro, three litre single turbocharged engine. Uh, these are, I wouldn't say bulletproof, but I mean, what would we say a car that can, can hack double the power? Would we not say it's bulletproof? Like that is a strong, strong engine, man. Definitely sound better than the S55, the M3s and M4s. I'd probably still say better than the S58. Yeah, I need to turn traction off because what's happening is I can really feel it pulling me back. It's, it's pulling back the power. It's, grabbing the brakes yeah I can feel it really holding me back it's weird because the previous M140 even with the traction like this it didn't hold me back so it tells me that whatever maps on this car it must produce a lot of low down torque very planted Jesus 34 miles on the tank and obviously definitely one of the the, the the massive selling points of the m140 is fuel consumption like obviously fuel is expensive but uh, the m140 miles per gallon wise you're absolutely laughing man eight gears it produces a lot of low down torque so it is a very effortless drive man you know this guy's going right isn't he? no he's not Of, um, the fact it's got an open diff. I actually really enjoy cars with open diffs. They feel a bit more, I don't know, man. I mean, from a driving perspective, capability wise, you obviously want an LSD, you know? Uh, you want to be able to like power slide and, 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 and sort of put the power down how you want to put it down. But for someone that's not too into driving, like very safe. <laughs> Fucking hell. Obviously, I've already mentioned this Sunday 10:30. Somebody will be winning this car for 99p. Every single Sunday 10:30 is what the deal is right now. I'm working really hard on LLF games, man. Just trying to bring those weekly comps. That's what I'm really focusing my energy on, man. Yeah, I think the M140 is definitely the perfect car right now, 100%. So yeah, this here is where the bumps are usually pretty nasty. Let's see if it sort of hits the bump stops. Nah, not too bad. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hell. Feels slightly more manageable. Like, ooh, when I say manageable, I mean, my car's definitely got a little extra, extra sauce. <laughs> But yeah, even like um, if you've got four or five M car, like you'll like an M140, man. Trust me, I'm a huge M car guy, but you cannot go wrong with an M140 with this spec. Nothing else needs to be done to this car, man. Stay stay tuned. You know, if you wanted to go one extra step, maybe a set of coilovers, like some KW V3s, that would be just perfection. Do you know what I mean? Let's go windows down. <laughs> Yeah, as already mentioned, visibility is good in the M140s. Yeah, I was trying to say, like, uh, you fit in the M140 like a glove, man. As I say, visibility, you know, the pillars ain't too thick. A lot of cars are getting to, man. Visibility is a big thing, especially when it comes to, to driving. The seats are comfortable. These are also heated. You've got air con, electric windows. Loud car, boy. See, look, when you come around little villages like this, so guys i'm gonna end the video there as always if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new yeah what do i say i mean uh, i'm gonna be shooting a load of reaction videos probably tomorrow and i am trying to get the channel to 75,000 subscribers so if you're watching the channel and you're still late so make an account subscribe to the thing we're on it trust me we've got loads of content to come gtr's back any second i'm not sure whether to whack the gtr content on living life fast as i say i do want to sort of push the channel a little bit more before i start thinking about getting back on the llf channel but yeah as i say look reaction videos i know i've probably got at least 50,000 new subscribers just off a reaction video so yeah we're gonna whack them out throw down some links as well when i when i start whacking them videos out start linking the videos what you want me to react to because i notice you lot love the police chase reactions but there's not that many left man's rinse bro i've done like 100 reaction videos so and obviously just a final reminder this sunday 10 30 somebody's gonna be winning this m140 yeah for 99p ticket link in the description i'm sure you guys know how it works now so yeah i'll see you guys soon
slow me down like speed hump no. Keep up when I speed up no. See your future, that's my past yeah. See the smoke when I drive past yeah. Fast lane, living life fast See your girl, she's in my car mm. Oh well, that's your girl in my hotel That's five stars yeah. Make the rules disappear